Congratulations, Manuel. How good were your team this evening? Well, thank you very much. I think that we really did a very good performance in all senses uh, because we scored three goals. We had at least three or four more clear chances to score. I really don't remember one single chance that the Manchester United had to score. So we were a very compact team, a very aggressive team from, from the beginning, and we, we started for the three points from the first minute of the, of the game. As the coach, what pleased you the most about tonight? Well, the, for me, it's very important to keep uh, our clean sheet. That, uh, we know that we can score a lot of goals, but today I think that we work very compact as a team. We didn't give them just one meter to try to, to make damage in our defenders, so I think that we work uh, completely in attacking and defending. Are you also extremely fortunate to have the sort of squad that you have in that when you lose a player like Sergio Aguero, in comes Edin Dzeko, you've also got Negredo on the bench as well, and you seem to be able to rotate your forwards without any change? Well, of course, uh, our changes. It's very important at the beginning of the season to, to have the squad that you think that you will need it from the whole year. The year is too long, we have, we have to play so many matches that's very important to, to have an important strikers and we and, uh, unfortunately we have it we have it and uh, now Sergio is out but Erin is in a good moment as was Alvaro maybe some, uh, one month ago Joe is coming back from his injury but I repeat I am all very very happy about uh, our defending as uh, the clean sh the five clean sheet in a row yes, they just just scored six goals in the in the second in the second um, in the second round of the Premier League. So I think that we are a very balanced team at the moment. Pablo Zabletta was under a challenge. It looked like a, an arm or an elbow from Mario Anfolaini. Do you think the Manchester United player was fortunate just to receive a yellow card? Well, really, uh, I, can, I can say that, that now because I, uh, I, I, didn't see what, I didn't see exactly what, uh, what happened. But there's a referee and he must decide about those things. Do you think tonight is about more than three points? Psychologically, does it give you a big boost as well? Well, it was very important psychologically for us because it was one of the three matches that we had suspended and it was the match that we had to play away against a great team as Manchester United. So it was important that the other two games we must play at home. If we continue recovering points against, uh, against Liverpool, against Chelsea, we have now four points uh, up from, from Arsenal, so it's very, it's very important to, to, to continue adding, adding points. The obvious answer is win every game, but what will it take for you to become champions, do you think? What else? From this point, what have you got to do to become champions? To win more points than the other teams. I think it's the only way, so you cannot know at this moment. You have to play nine, nine games more. You can, uh, you can uh, know how many points you will, you will need to win. It's important to continue playing the way we did today.